In this video, we are going to talk ticker symbols. You might be asking yourself why an entire video dedicated to ticker symbols? Because ticker symbols have information embedded into them. It is more than just an indicator that you use to buy a stock. So my name's Andrea, I've been investing since the sixth grade, and on this channel I share with you everything that I have learned through the decades. So let's dive right into what a ticker symbol is. A ticker symbol is an abbreviation of letters that ties to a company's name. So instead of Pepsi being the name that is listed on the ticker tape things or that you type it fully in to purchase it, instead you type in PEP, -E which is the ticker symbol for Pepsi. It abbreviates everything to make things run smoother. Now you might think that we could just stop right there. A ticker symbol is what you use to purchase a stock with a short abbreviation. But they're actually more detailed than that. This is not a series of random letters. In fact, the letters in the symbol will give you extra information. So the first piece of information that it gives you is what stock exchange the stock is officially listed on. Now today with electronic trading, this is actually less of an issue than it has been in the past. But if you rewind history pre-computers or anything like that, you needed to know exactly what exchange a company was on if you wanted to buy that. A broker would have to go to that specific location in order to get that particular stock. So. If it is three letters or less, it is either on the New York Stock Exchange or the American Exchange. If it is four letters, it is on the NASDAQ. So look at this not so much as to what you need to do today to buy, but how it was historically done and into what index it might fall. So for example, if you buy a NASDAQ tracking index, it will only have the companies that have those four ticker symbols. That is the indicator. If you are buying for some reason an index that just tracks the New York Stock Exchange, the ticker symbols will only be three letters and less. Now, sometimes you will see five letter ticker symbols, or it might look slightly different. What this is telling you is that there is something different about the stock. There is a unique situation that you need to be aware of. So let's say that you are looking at a stock on NASDAQ and all of a sudden it has five letters. That could mean they're in bankruptcy. It could mean it's a different share class with different voting rights. It could even mean it's part of a convertible bond. So anytime you see a ticker symbol that seems abnormal, you want to investigate further. Now this just doesn't happen only on the NASDAQ and it doesn't only have five symbols. What you want to look for is the abnormalities. As an example, under Armour used to be UA. It still is UA. But they did another issue that doesn't have voting rights, and it's UAA. So while you're on the New York Stock Exchange or the American Exchange, and you are, let's say you pull up a company and it's showing multiple ticker symbols, you then have to go figure out why those are different. Are the voting rights different? Are they preferred? You have to figure out why there's extra letters on that ticker symbol. So how do you do this? Well, you don't want to memorize these because <laughs> that would just take a space in your brain that you simply don't need. I will put a link in the comments below to an article that literally lists every single thing out. So when you're doing your stock research and you come across a ticker symbol that 
is not normal, <laughs> you can go to that list, find out why, and then make your decisions. Now, if you have any more questions on ticker symbols, I would love to help you out. Drop a comment below and I will get back with you. If you liked this video, click like. And if you want more information on investing and how to make your own financial decisions, click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.